Back when it was considered the Bible of hip hop, getting a 5 mic rating in the source put an album in rarefied air, it signaled a perfect project, an album that would have gotten 5 stars. In a rock magazine, or 5 stars in a newspaper, the distinction led to countless debates and dozens of lyrical references, either pining for 5 mics or bemoaning an album that did it. The microphone symbol itself represented a hip-hop spin on rap reviews, and only 15 LP earned the source's celebrated 5 mic status in real time. Agree or disagree? Here they are. A Tribe Called Quest's debut project extended the Afrocentric Native Tongues movement the Jungle Brothers and D. La Soul introduced. Tribes put a jazzy, good-natured spin to their memorable sonic journey, which includes a cross-country road trip. Q-Tip was a steady, sage presence on the mic, while Fife dazzles with his distinctive wordplay on his handful of appearances. Fresh off his departure from N.W.A., Ice Cube left little doubt that he'd be just fine on his own. The South Central Los Angeles rapper takes aim at everything from America's institutionalized racism and classism to the lack of quality material on the radio to unworthy women. Musically, the cinematic, funk-drenched work of the Bomb Squad and Sir Jinx results in a fiery batch of beats that perfectly match Ice Cube's lyrical fury, with more of a political bent than his previous crew. Eric B. and Ra Kim's third LP was remarkable exercise in lyrical supremacy. Ra Kim's relentless rhyme assault includes arresting alliteration on the title track and seemingly non-stop flowing on No Omega. Ra Kim expands his creative repertoire too, delivering two of his best and most recognized thematic tracks. The Stark, in the Ghetto, features historical and philosophical insight, while Mahogany traces his experience with a remarkable woman. The top 10 track project's musical muscularity hits hard, but the album is really about Rakim's rhymes. As he says on Step Back, all Rakim wants you to follow is poetry. Brand Nubian's debut album was a collective triumph for its three distinctive rappers, but also showcases sensational solo songs. Feels So Good features the lighthearted vibe of Grand Pooba, Sadat X, and Lord Yamar's approach, which, like the rest of the album, was informed by the teachings of the 5% Nation. Each rapper takes turns warning women about living foul on Slow Down and denounces what they see as America's uncivilized existence. Drop the bomb, then going as Derek X, Sadat X shines on Concerto in X minor, while Lord Yamar brings a militaristic mentality to dance to my ministry. And Grand Pooba celebrates some of his favorite rappers on dedication. Eager to ditch the hippie tag it earned after its landmark debut album, The La Soul Shifted. Pas Nus, Trugoy, and Masio's second LP De La Soul was equally inventive, but decidedly darker, both thematically and sonically. Biddy's in the BK Lounge shows an early glimpse at atrocious custom service, while Millie pulled a pistol on Santa delicately covers the horrors of sexual abuse. It's a bleak masterpiece buoyed by thematic brilliance and supreme storytelling. Fife uses a tribe called Quest's second LP to prove that Q-Tip wasn't the only star in his group. The five-foot assassin stood tall on lyrical exercises, bugging out. And, we've got the jazz. The former an energetic tag team exercise, while the latter glides along with the sublime groove as Fife brings his punchline heavy flow to the second verse. Album closing scenario stands as one of the best posse cuts of all time, with Fife dropping eye-popping sports and sexual rhymes. The project's beats live up to its title, with thunderous, bottom-heavy soundscapes, backing Q-Tip, and Fife at every turn. After delivering several notable verses on other people's songs, Nas delivers a masterpiece with his debut album. Illmatic showcases Nas' distinctive wistful and poetic lyrics that brought out the best of a stable of some of rap's best producers. Pete Rock brings a subtle, piano-driven elegance to Nas Street ruminations on The World Is Yours. Q-Tip offers a reflective, xylophone-propelled beat for Nas' jail letter narrations on One Love. The Queensbridge representative delivers what may be the best oral representation of the city that never sleeps on the menacing DJ premiere-produced New York State of Mind 
It all adds up to musical magnificence. Released less than a month after the notorious B.I.G.'s murder, this double album solidified Biggie's status as an all-time great. The late Brooklyn, New York rapper delivers a masterful pop, braggadocio cut, hypnotize, an abrasive warning to haters kick in the door, an X-rated ode to sex, fuck you tonight, a paradoxically upbeat posse cut about the trappings of fame, war money, more problems, and a manual on the drug game, 10 crack commandments. Biggie expertly traverses pop and hardcore hip-hop with credible crossover cuts and next-level street storytelling. Andre 3000 and Big Boy's third album stands as an oral kaleidoscope. The energetic, Rosa Parks features a roaring harmonica solo, while the bouncy, Skew It on the Bar B features an unexpected, Raekwon appearance and Big Boy lamenting that Outkast's debut LP didn't earn five mics. On the pensive title track, the dynamic duo ruminate on street life and spiritual truths, all while delivering the hardest shit since MC Ren. Even in 1998, some doubted the potency and skill of Southern rappers. This Atlanta duo shows for the third time that its skills are unparalleled. Jay-Z was on a mission with his sixth album. The Brooklynite Blast's rivals on Takeover, Master's lyric-driven crossover rap with Izzo, celebrates his money-making abilities on You Don't Know, and laments the target on his back as an illicit celebrity with Heart of the City Ain't No Love. He also details his drug-dealing prowess on Never Change, and shows a rare wistful side on Song Cry. Producers Kanye West, Just Blaze, and Bink deliver sonic brilliance by providing a largely soulful and sometimes menacing backdrop for Jigga to ruminate on his brilliance as an artist businessman. Nas heard the whispers, Many wondered if he'd fallen off after the release of 1999's Nastradamus. God's son hadn't, of course, and his fantastic fifth album made that abundantly clear. Nas berates Jay-Z on ether, flips rap on its head with the conceptual Marvel Rewind, rides rhythmic crescendos to their climax on one mic, and takes Cormega and others to task on Destroy and Rebuild. Elsewhere, Second Childhood showcases Nas' storytelling prowess, while Got Yourself a Gun features his distinctive chest thumping. It adds up to another excellent project from Queensbridge's finest. Scarface's first Def Jam Recordings album was a coronation of sorts. After years of being one of rap's most respected but underappreciated artists, the Gato Boys member earned the music industry's respect. With his seventh album, the Houston rapper brings his signature blend of political and street commentary to safe, while the reflective hood tale in Cold Blood continues his standing as a rap storytelling titan. Guess who's back? With Jay-Z and Beanie Sigel brought ears and interest from listeners in the Northeast, while the reflective on my block stands as of one of his biggest solo record. More than a decade into his legendary career, Scarface showed the world was still his. As one of rap's most prominent artists, Lil' Kim is the first and only female rapper to earn a 5 mic rating from the source. The Brooklynite was headed to prison on a perjury charge as the LP arrived and blasted her former crew Junior Mafia on Woe. Slipping addresses people who kicked her while she was down and all good. Describes how everyone wasn't but Little Kim's fourth album isn't a purely somber affair. She pays homage to both her home and reggae culture on the popular Lighters Up and teams with comedian Cat Williams to address the rumors and gossip surrounding her life and career on the fiery Shut Up, Bitch. There's a lot of anger through the naked truth, an intimate look into the life of a rap star at a personal and professional crossroads. Nearly 20 years into his career, the UGK member showed that his extensive vocabulary, wild wordplay, and beat selection was as potent as ever on his third album. His trillionaire duet with T-Pain shows he could collaborate with a pop star and return his trillness, while his teaming with Jeezy on the hard-hitting, just like that, illustrates the project's street-certified side. The bluesy, Put It Down features one of Drake's lesser-known appearances, and late icons Pimp C and Tupac join Bun and Trey songs on the brassy right now. The well-rounded project celebrates the Port Arthur rapper's OG status and timeless relevance. As he says on the intro, 
I got the streets on fire, so forget a buzz. Kanye West returned to a more traditional rap approach on the follow-up to 2008's 808s and Heartbreak, but the Chicago rapper-producer's fifth LP was anything but routine. Throughout the LP, Kanye vacillates from being on the edge of insanity to a quest for redemption, gorgeous, to lashing out at his detractors as he appreciates his gifts and his accomplishments, power. The festive horns and Rihanna's sensual crooning belie the mental Kanye West examines on all of the lights, with the list guest list, my beautiful dark twits fantasies, monster, detonates thanks to incredible Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj verses, all the while, West's genius shines.